Don't buy a Lennar home before you watch this video. We're gonna expose the bad things about Lennar. We're also gonna talk about the good things about Lennar. What's their quality like? Are their prices fair? Are they worth the hype, basically? So today we're gonna look at the pros and cons of Lennar homes. Lennar is actually number two in the nation after DR Horton. So they're selling a lot of homes, but are they quality homes? So let's start with the pros of Lennar Homes. So the first pro is that Lennar is competitively priced. So compared to a lot of builders here in the Charleston, Somerville, Monk's Corner area, Lennar is competitively priced. This is great because you are getting a brand new construction home at a good price and it's almost comparable to a pre-owned home, so check your prices here. Another pro that's related to price is that Lennar's quoted price on their website is pretty close to their final price. If you're unfamiliar with new construction, typically builders put a price on the website, but it's not that close to what you're actually gonna pay because they add in the lot premium, they add the design options, and if you wanna add other extra options, then it pushes the price up even higher. Whereas on Lennar's website, those quoted prices are typically closer to the final price when you compare it to other builders and how they advertise. So Lennar seems more transparent in this way. So the next pro in my opinion is the nice space in these homes. They have great floor plan options and a lot of them have this open floor plan kind of feel. So you typically get a lot of natural light. It just feels very homey and cozy. The kitchen is one big open space that flows into the family room and into the breakfast nook area. And as a millennial, I love this because my parents had a dining room and we never used it growing up. So this eliminates the dining room. You can add it back as an option, but it's going to typically be this big open floor plan. Now the next pro is that they have in-house lending and that often comes with pretty big incentives. So you have the option to buy down the rate in case interest rates happen to rise and then you know that raises the monthly payment. And that's what happened in 2023. Two of my clients did this in the last few weeks. One client received received $50,000 in incentives and the other client I believe got $40,000 in incentives. So they used part of it to lower the price and then part of it to buy down the rate. So if you wanna save money on your monthly mortgage payment, it might be a good idea to buy down the rate. They might also give you extra money towards closing costs. So you get a little bonus there. And the next pro is that some things are negotiable, especially when it comes to financing. And I'll give you an example. So let's say that you wanna secure your home and you wanna say, I got dibs on this house. This is my house. You sign the contract, you wanna put down earnest money, but let's say you don't have the cash yet and you know that you have a check coming in a week or a few more checks coming in the next few weeks, right? If you know you have money coming up, you can ask to split the earnest money payment into two payments or maybe even three payments. So if you have questions about how to do that, feel free to give me a call. I'm Kristen, I'm a realtor. I work with my mom and we would love to help you make the move here and we'd love to help you purchase a new home. So my information is in the description below. Now another pro is that everything's included. That's the tagline on their website at least. So what does everything mean? Well, typically if you check their website, that will include features like a Ring video doorbell, a Ring alarm security kit, and you can use your smartphone to control your home security. So they have things that you can control remotely, which is pretty cool. However, on the website it says, all features and products can vary by community and home site. Have your realtor check if your potential home comes with those features, if that's important to you. Now, the next pro is specific to our Charleston, Somerville, area and that is that they have multiple communities in the area for you to choose from so if you like Lennar homes you like the look of them we have willow bend townhomes in north charleston there's the popular summers corner community in somerville and of course within summers corner there are the azalea ridge subsections and the sweetgrass collection and they're starting a new one too so there's gonna be a new phase of a new community coming up they also have the Central Avenue townhomes in Somerville as well. Um, and in Monk's Corner, Lennar has the Cypress Preserve community. So that's another single family home community. And in case you didn't know, Monk's Corner is a great option if you want a little more peace and quiet than North Charleston or Somerville. It's a little less busy, a little less traffic. Um, so you do have options in our area. So now that's the pros. 
that's all the good stuff but let's be honest let's get to the cons let's get to the juicy stuff because i know you want to know that <laughs> so the first con is actually in-house lending and i know that i said this was a pro um, however we looked at one side of the coin, we're gonna look at the flip side of the coin. You get great incentives and credits towards closing costs. But Lennar is still a business um, and they're still getting that money from somewhere else. There might be hidden fees in your loan to make up for it. So I'm not saying it's totally good or totally bad. Um, would I still recommend getting pre-approved with their lender? Yes, I absolutely would tell you to apply with their lender, see what they give you. But if you have another lender option, I would also encourage you to apply with them. It's good to shop around for the best rate so that you can save the most money. And some people will say, well, Kristen, won't that make my credit score drop? You know, what if a lot of people are checking my credit and it drops a lot? Well, that depends. So if you already have applied with a lender, the following mortgage applications won't affect your credit as much. So you might as well apply to other lenders after you've already applied with Lennar's preferred lender. That's what I would recommend. I hope that makes sense. If you have questions about that, just feel free to let me know. So the next con is this. So remember how we talked about the price being pretty fair. It's lower than other builders, right? Comparatively, it's a low price. Well, they're able to keep their prices fairly low because their materials are not as expensive, not as premium. And I'm not saying that these homes are, are gonna fall apart. They're still structurally sound, okay? However, the cosmetic things like the paint finishes, the trim, smaller things like that that are cosmetic, they're on the outside, they likely might not be as high quality compared to the more premium builders. One of the ways that we try to mitigate those small cosmetic items is by being thorough and meticulous when we are walking through the home. So one week before closing, Lennar will have something called a new homeowner orientation, and that's when we walk through the home and mark areas with tape that need to be addressed. So that's done at the new homeowner orientation, and then about a week later at the final home walkthrough, we make sure that those items um, have been addressed and that nothing else needs to be done before closing. We do everything that we can to make sure that your home is as great as it can be when you do sign those papers and you move in. But again, remember that no home is perfect. So don't expect perfection. That goes with anything, nothing's perfect, um, but we do our best. So keep that in mind. If you're from out of town, maybe either plan to stay for an entire week so you can do the new homeowner orientation, the final walkthrough and the closing, or plan to come by two separate times if you do have to work in between. We try to pull strings, we try to do our best, but some teams are easier to work with than others. The next con with Lennar is that there's not much room for customization. This is not one of those custom builders where you have 10 plans to choose from and you can add or subtract a loft and a garage and a mother-in-law suite. Lennar is not that kind of builder. They're not custom. However, they do have a few plans to choose from around two to five or more, depending on the community. And if you're early on in the building process, you can choose different cabinet colors. You can choose different finishes. So you do have a little more freedom with design options. So that's my list. Feel free to call me if you have any questions and click here to watch another video or here.